Yo, what's going on guys? It's Cynical and welcome back to another episode of Sea Salt Snippets. Today, if you guys got some spicy topics to talk about, so let's just dive straight into it. So, Migna Wen, who is the English voice actor for Mulan in both the Mulan movies as well as Mulan in Kingdom Hearts 2, recently posted on her Instagram account this picture with the quote saying, Being Mulan today. So, obviously, by looking at this picture, we can tell that the voice actor for Mulan is currently inside a recording studio and going by her quote, she is obviously doing work for the character of Mulan. Now the real question is, what project is this for? We know it's to do with Mulan, but of course that's all the information we have. Now let's talk about Kingdom Hearts 3. It is very possible that she might actually be in the recording studio for the purpose of recording lines for Mulan, if of course Mulan is going to be in Kingdom Hearts 3. Now as you guys should probably know, Mulan got her own world in Kingdom Hearts 2, which was dubbed the Land of Dragons, but since then Mulan has never returned as a world in the Kingdom Hearts franchise. and. Honestly, I think that like if Squint Enix can correctly make Mulan uh, or the Land of Dragons into a world for Kingdom Hearts 3 and do it right, then I am so down. Honestly, I really liked the Land of Dragons in Kingdom Hearts 2. I thought it was a pretty good world. Uh, I felt like it could have probably touched upon the overall story of the very first Mulan movie a bit more, but for the most part, it went over the most important events. Now, looking at a Mulan world for Kingdom Hearts 3, though, would it exactly work in terms of the story? We've pretty much already covered the first Mulan movie, so what is left? Of course, Mulan 2, which, uh, well, it's, yeah, Mulan 2. Honestly, there's really not too much to say about Mulan 2. It's very clear that the first movie is significantly better than the second, and I suppose it's just kind of like a well-known thing that Disney sequels are pretty much never as good as their first film. Now, of course, this might not actually be to do with Kingdom Hearts 3 as well, so keep in mind this is all speculation. Perhaps maybe it could be to do with the um, Mulan live-action movie. Um, Disney are actually making a live-action edition of the Mulan film, and I believe it's set to release sometime next year. Roles and the cast uh, for the movie have not been um, announced or anything, so in terms of that sort of information, who knows? But yeah, I mean, perhaps maybe the very original English voice actor for the character of Mulan might be getting a role in the live action edition. However, though, the two possibilities that pop into my head as to why the English voice actor for Mulan would be in the recording studio are, of course, one, Kingdom Hearts 3, and two, the live action edition of the Mulan film. Next up for today, we have a little bit of information towards D23. Now, just in case you guys don't know what D23 is, it is a Disney Expo that happens every second year. Now, this has become a prime sort of time for Square Enix to actually step out and present you Kingdom Hearts information. Kingdom Hearts 3 has always made an appearance at every single Japanese D23 since the announcement of Kingdom Hearts 3 back in 2013. So, of course, in the year of 2013, D23 happened, then of course 2015, D23 happened once again, and of course now we are in the year of 2017, two years has gone by, so it is high time for another D23 event to happen. Now the dates for the next Japanese D23 Expo has actually been revealed and will be happening on the 10th to the 12th of February in 2018. So that's kind of strange. They are sort of skipping the normal um, sort of trend of it happening every two years. And rather, of course, they're making the Japanese D23 happen very early 2018. Now also keep in mind though, the American Anaheim D23 is still happening this year in the month of July. So if we are still looking uh, for Kingdom Hearts 3 information or a prime location for Square Enix to step out and present, some new information, then the Anaheim D23 could also be a spot. But I would say it's extremely likely for Square Enix to actually present some new Kingdom Hearts 3 stuff at the Japanese D23 Expo happening uh, February of next year. Hopefully by then uh, we'll know significantly more about uh, what's going on with Kingdom Hearts 3. I'm hoping E3 2017 will really be the place where we get a lot of information and sort of news towards Kingdom Hearts 3. So of course we'll just have to wait and see. And last up for today, I thought it'd be interesting to take a look at the Metacritic scores for both 1.5 and 2.5 to see really how the media are receiving this bundle. So 
1.5 and 2.5 has only been out for, I believe, like 15 or 16 days, still not a whole month. But Metacritic have actually given it a total meta score of 84. Guys, we did it. That's fantastic. That means this game is currently in the green zone. And I think the other really fantastic thing is 25 critic reviews are actually in the positive right there, as you guys can see. So that is absolutely fantastic. It's definitely apparent that the media are really enjoying 1.5 and 2.5. I think the bundle itself is really worth its value. It's six games, four being playable, two being movies. And of course it comes with a budget price tag. Still, I know that there is controversy behind people complaining about games they've already bought but having to rebuy them again, but Looking past that, I think 1.5 and 2.5 is a fantastic bundle, and it's great to see that the media are actually giving it a lot of praise. And that is it for today, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys thought about today's news and information, especially looking towards the whole Mulan and Kingdom Hearts 3 thing in particular. And until next time, guys, I'll catch you later. Peace.